it's Wednesday, and you know what that means. We get to talk Planet of the Apps, Apple's first original program that lets developers pitch their ideas to celebs, celeb entrepreneurs, and potential investors. Jessica Alba, Gary Vaynerchuk, Gwyneth Paltrow, and Will I Am serve as mentors on the show. They help startups hone their pitches and try to get funding from big name investors. Today, we are joined by an 18 year old entrepreneur who developed a laser tag game for your smartphone, Thomas Suarez, the founder and chief technology officer of YTag. How are you, Thomas? Doing great. How are you? Okay, you were 17 when you were on the show, so you just had a birthday recently. Yeah, I did in May. Did you feel like you were at a disadvantage at all being a younger, I guess, maybe the youngest one on the show so far? No, I, I think. Uh, the spirit of the show is really to inspire uh, young developers and, I mean, any, any developer really to go out and code um, and create apps. So I think it was an opportunity really to, to be young on the show. All right, let's take a look at a scene from last night's episode. I like everything that you've done today. You've handled rejection calmly. You know exactly what it is you want to accomplish. You don't necessarily have to have all those skills, right? You're 17. Yes. So we, I don't expect you to be, you know, the biz whiz. But more importantly, you, you're a symbol of what 17-year-olds should be doing. Yeah. They don't teach that in our schools, mandatory. I see something in you. Like, if you were to see Steve Jobs and Bill Gates and Michael Dell at an early age, you say, wow, here we are looking at Thomas. Thomas, later in the show, uh, Will I Am even said, that's Steve Jobs. Yeah. What, what was your reaction when he told you this? I mean, hearing that from someone like Will, someone with his influence and at his level, uh, it was just incredible. You know, it, it, I, I don't know, it was, it was really incredible to hear that. I, I was watching your pitch to all of the mentors, potential mentors. Everyone fell in love with your idea. They said you had a great idea. Uh, everyone loves laser tag. It's a fun thing. And they all believed you when you said it's a costly activity, but it is fun. Um, and I think, too, the investors felt like it was a good idea. But ultimately, they decided to invest $100,000 because they felt like you needed to develop your technology more. So since then, what have you done to improve the technology? One of the issues was this lag time, one second lag time between uh, the calculations uh, of the phone to figure out where they're actually being pointed. Yeah, so after I got the funding, um, I was working with Aaron from Lightspeed, and he's, he's just been great, so very supportive. Um, ended up hiring uh, two software engineers and also a, a designer. And so we've been working to kind of perfect the app, and uh, we've done multiple alpha tests at the local park. And we've done some interpolation on the location updates. So we take the GPS data and fuse it with some other sensors. And so now we're, uh, we're actually interpolating data between that second. Thomas, both of us want to play this. Play it. Uh, yeah, we're excited to play this. OK, I want to know, you've been, you mentioned in the episode last night that you've been coding since you were seven years old. I mean, you're only 18. So you've been doing this for more than a half of your life. How did you find time while you were in school to build this app? Well, I mean, YTAG specifically, I do, I do some of my code at school. You know, anytime one of our, uh, uh, anytime we're working on something and, um, you know, we're, we're working on a bug fix or, or whatever, uh, I will hop on during school hours sometimes. Um, but really, other than that, it's, uh, it's just, you kind of have to balance it. It's, it's an interesting balance, but I, I really, I'm really passionate about this idea and I'm really passionate about programming, so I, I make it work. <laughs> Could you, um, you know, tell your teachers that it was part of your schoolwork too? Take the classes so you can work on your coding while getting credit for it. Yeah, I mean th that would be cool. You know, my, my school is pretty flexible on um, on the on that kind of stuff. They're they're great, so they've been very supportive also. Thomas, I want to talk about Will I Am uh, uh, during during the the filming of Plan of the Apps and, and when you were honing your pitch to investors. You uh, went to school with Will and you, you played with students there. You, they, they used the smartphone app. What did you learn from them and then what did you learn from Will I Am that you were able to then take to the investors for your pitch? So that was Will's idea to, to take it to his I Am Angel uh, program, um, take it to the students and see what they thought of, um, of YTAG. And that is probably the best validation and testing that we could have had, really getting our tar target audience playing YTAG in a school or a park or 
you know, in this case, a school, but it was great to see everyone having fun, you know, and the, the servers were fine, so that was good. The client was, was working um, as, it, as it should have. And of course, there were things that we had to improve on after the fact, but that's after every test. I mean, we're, we actually finished up uh, YTAG Alpha Test 21 before we even launched on the App Store. So we've done extensive testing on the client side and also the server side so that it's really stable. But that was, uh, it, it's just great because you get to see the smiles on everyone's faces like, oh my God, I just, a laser came out of my phone pretty much, so it was cool. Yeah, Thomas, I want to ask about your plans moving forward. I mean, you're only 18 years old. Not only what you're going to do with the app, but I mean, what's next for you? Are you going to college or are you going to uh, continue to work on this full time? Yeah, so the next thing we're going to do short term on the YTAG app is next month when iOS 11 comes out with uh, Apple's augmented reality engine called ARKit. Uh, we are going to be among the first apps to support it. We already have a, a functional prototype, and uh, so we'll be at pinpoint accuracy, so that will solve a lot of the accuracy issues. The next thing I'd like to pursue is something that I've been working on for a couple of years also. It's called Orb, and it's a super fast modular 3D printer. So I really, I, I, I want to do YTAG and then also do uh, finish up Orb and, and really get that out there. And then moving forward, yeah. um, I do plan to go to college. Um, I, I don't, I don't know exactly how it's going to work yet, but I, I really want to um, do college and uh, and work at the same time. Okay, well, you plan to go. No one said you'd be graduating because we you know all the big <laughs> ones never ended up finishing school. But Thomas, great work so far. Congratulations on your success. Hire us maybe one day, Thomas Suarez, founder. Okay. Yeah, when you're chief, when you're running the world, no yes, question. Chief technology officer over at YTAG. Thanks Very so cool. much. Thank Thanks, you so Thomas. much.